We are learning more about the landmark settlement in the civil lawsuit against L.A. County regarding the death of 10-year-old Anthony Avalos. The boy was killed in 2018, allegedly tortured to death by his mother and her boyfriend. Eyewitness News reporter Leo Stallworth is live in downtown L.A. with more on the announcement today. Leo. And a landmark settlement it is. I'm with Brian uh, Claypool, he is the attorney for the family of that 10 year old precious boy, Philip, as you mentioned, who was murdered back in 2018. The boy's mother, her boyfriend, accused of the unspeakable crime. And Mr. Claypool, you just held a news conference. You were telling us that the family of that precious boy and the county reaching a settlement agreement, this on the heels of a wrongful death lawsuit filed against the county. What are we talking about here? Yes, yeah, so we, we have reached a tentative settlement with uh, L.A. County uh, in the amount of $32 million, and, and it, has to be a poor, it has to be approved by Hold the... on one second, sir. I'm sorry, folks. A homeless person is pushing us out of the way. Come on by, dear. Come on by, sweetheart. Thank you. So sorry to be in your way. Okay, we can start that over, that uh, $32 million settlement, tentative settlement agreement. Let's talk more about that. Yeah, we fought three and a half years for Anthony and uh, actually got this from the family today. Uh, and, and today's about making change in honor of Anthony. Anthony didn't smile much when he was being tortured and abused and, and ultimately murdered. But today he is smiling in heaven because we have reached a tentative settlement with the L.A. County uh, Board of Supervisors in the amount of $32 million. Has to be approved by the board, but we are confident it will be approved by the board. And this is the first step in making change to make sure this doesn't happen to other kids. And while we are speaking, or during the news conference, I should say, one of the family members did speak. It was emotional. Let's hear from her. I watched him come into this world, and I had him watch him leave. My life will forever be changed. I would give everything up in order to see him again, to have him with us. And you were saying, along with this settlement, you want to see some other things happen uh, to, uh, in terms of the county doing more, as you were saying, to protect children. What would you like to see? Yeah, so the case has always been bigger than Anthony. We didn't want him to die in vain. So I'm going to be reaching out to state legislators on a couple of new laws that we need in California. One, for example, is there ha it has to be mandated that there's communication between L.A. County DCFS, L.A. County Department of Mental Health, and then any outside agencies that they hire, like Hathaway Sycamores. We found out in this case that there was zero communication between DCFS and Hathaway when Anthony was sent there for counseling. So how can you adequately give these kids counseling if you're not communicating. So that's just one law we want to have changed. Another one too has to do with, with, with allowing these kids to report abuse when they turn 18 and not when they're minors. Oftentimes, LA County DCFS avoids any liability because these kids are forced to report it within six months, but they can't do that because they're reporting their parents and they're probably gonna be abused more. Thank you so much for your time, sir. We really appreciate it. Mr. Claypool, I'm going to send it back to you, Philip and Giovanna, in the studio. Thank you. All right. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.